So, Robbie, you graduated to coming in at 4 a.m. in the morning, so you have a hands-on on what's happening behind the scenes. So, so what goes on behind the scenes now? Because you started off outside, stuff was laid out, and all you did was just help. So, so you're now inside. What's going on inside? At 3.30, we start, um, truck come in at 3.30. So at 3.30, the truck, the truck comes in. It's mm -hmm. unloaded, work with, whatever needs to be done, we do it. I oh. do it. Oh. And, um, so once they unload the truck, then you have to put them up, put it all up. You have, the, you have your coal, right. you have your freezer, right. and you have to separate the one, and then you have your dry. And it usually all come on one truck, and a lot of times it comes in one container, so you have to separate all that stuff and then distribute it to the areas that it is. So that will require a lot of hands, that require a lot of people. How many people will be coming in to help? Because, I mean, you, you need hands to be able to... We can always use volunteers, but our hands is probably about four. Four people? Yeah. Doing all of that, separating the coal from the. Yeah, we do that every day, all day. That's what we do. And uh, it works. That works. You know, you get in, you turn your music on, you let it, let it roll. So this is happening at 4 a.m. So usually about 5 30. About 5 30. Yeah. And you are preparing for, for distribution, for everything, we, for deliveries that go out on the truck. We're preparing for the agencies that come in and pick up, and we're preparing for the line. For the line. And we're preparing for the people that come in and say, I need help. We, have, we, all, we always have somebody come in and say, I need food. I, I don't have anything. I don't have nowhere to go. And this is someone that is not connected to the line right. or an agency, or this is just right. someone coming in randomly. Right. Mm. So it's a lot happening. So what kind of food stuff are folks getting when they so as you could see stuff is happening i mean we are you know i'm here hanging out with robbie who is actually one of the main persons that is involved in you know making sure things run smoothly what are people getting when they pull up well the first thing they get we have meat we have boxes of that have vegetables cereal rice beans everything that's dry in a box and then we place some meat then they have vegetables on any given day we might have five different types of vegetables today we have watermelon we have pumpkin we have blueberries we have bananas mm. we have uh, grapes and cucumbers so it varies a whole oil berries it varies today. each day that what comes in off the truck yeah okay, so, okay. and uh, we make sure that we distribute it and give it to the people Okay, okay. This is happening at His Compassion Food Bank here in Ocala, Florida. And you say it's a, I mean, you will get a, a, a shot of the um, line that's outside. I'll, I'll make sure to bring that video in so you could see the line. But it's, um, so like every day, like the Tuesday and Thursday, about how many people would you say in the line? Probably about 300. 300, about 300 people. Yeah, probably about three, three to 400. And the, uh, those are sectors like the Monday? Monday, like, Wednesday, Friday, we have agencies coming. That's a, a part of about the 156. We break it up into three days. Oh, so that's the 156 agencies. Yeah, that goes on the link. And then we have a chance to come in and pick up the food. And then we have about 12 that we deliver to. Monday through Friday, we have to deliver it. And then we also pick up food. We go to the different, um, like Farm Share, Southeastern Food Bank, we go and pick up food when they call us and say, well, we have a, we have something for you, but we don't have a truck. Right, right. We, wow. That's why we can, we have the four trucks we can go and we can pick up food as well. Wow. Well, you know, we have to give a shout out to the, the, big, the big boy. Um, who runs everything, and that's uh, West, right? It doesn't go without West. It does not happen without West. It does not happen without West. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we have a, a, a gentleman who is actually lining up. He's not lining up for food. He's. Li <laughs> that's a 
Bill. He's lighting up. Bill, come right in here and just to grab. Bill, yeah, I got, I Bill got, what's I got going on, Bill? Bill? What's happening? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was Look. volunteered by West to come and come and say hello. So not east, but west. <laughs> so this is Bill. So Bill, where are you? So Bill, you are on the Ocala Arts and Entertainment Podcast. I'm Sean. You're hanging out sure. with the great Robbie. Uh -huh. You know Robbie. I do know Robbie. Yes. Beautiful. So Bill, tell us a little bit. What, what do you? What's your role here? My role here is I, I, I come and assist them with setup of the line, new product, load trucks, unload trucks, and anything else that they need to, to be done to help them get get their day prepared. Oh. And so you can be here anytime from. A, Three, four o'clock in the morning sometimes, just to get there to get make sure that they've got everything they need. And so I'm, I'm support help from Wings of Faith. Oh, Wings of Faith is one Wings of the agencies that we give to. So we have Operation well. Compassion yeah. out of Wings of Faith, of which uh, I help run that as well. And we have the thrift store from them as well, which, uh, wow. <clears throat> which is called Shop and Save out of His Compassion, which is just down the road here. And then Wings of Faith, we have a thrift store over there, Wings of Faith thrift store it's on it's Baseline it's Road. So we are all together. We, are, we work together to get this done to meet the need of the community. You heard it from my man and Bill, so thank you. Pleasure is all mine. Pleasure right. meeting you. Pleasure meeting you too. And all right. continue doing Can the wonderful work. Can you tell world. him about what y'all do with the food that we get? So, Everything they send to us, uh, we are able to give to the community over in the uh, Silver Spring Shores area. Silver Spring Shores. And again, we have people over there that we help that help us prepare and buy the food. And then we have pallets dropped fresh that morning as well, straight from here. Um, on a Wednesday morning, we have a truck comes over here, picks it up, they load us up, take it out there, and we drop the pallets. And there's anything from 100 to 200 cars lined up. We're able to give to the communities, um, and it's just growing and growing and growing. Wow. We've, we've got, we've, uh, with with the assistance of this facility here, we've probably tripled the amount of product we're able to give to the people in the community and the other side of town. And the numbers here, I'm sure you've seen, it's huge too. That have the help of the community. So it's, a, it's it's an honor and a pleasure to be a part of it to be able to assist them and their assisting us.